Everybody, Super Mammoth out here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Finally, after been almost two years since I last recorded a video, which was uh, my final board of Mario Party 6. That was the last time I recorded. Finally, now I got my new phone. Let's get this show on the road. I have fully 100%ed this game. 99%. That's only because. Uh, there is one challenge in this game where you have to connect a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, but unfortunately, after 2012, uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection for DS and Wii got discontinued, so there's no way I can get the challenge, so it's going to stay that percentage pretty much forever, but it's okay, as long as I still 100% of the game, that's, that's fine. I'll talk about challenges once we get into the records, but this is the mode of the game. We got mail, you can also look at the mail, see if you can get some costumes uh, from how you progress in the game, uh, from playing single match and London party, and also from how many certain characters you played as the most of the time, and playing certain games in London party so many times. So let's get right into single match. This video is going to be mostly about all the events. First, this video is going to be about uh, the Olympic events first. Here are the options where you can set the game data, the com difficulty, language settings. You know, you know options. Typical. You can also look at the credits too. I will show off the credits at the finale of the video. But let's get right into single match mode, shall we? Not waste any more time. Here are the events. There are a lot of events in this game. Uh, first being the athletics, there are a total of seven events here. Gymnastics, there are a total of three events in this one. 
that's 10. Aquatics, only two, which is nine. Uh, there's canoeing, which is co uh, co-op, uh, which is 11, I believe. Question, a new event that's introduced in this game. Uh, I believe canoeing in this game is actually new to this, but only uh, as opposed to single skulls from the first game, that's single player. This, you can actually do, do this in doubles. And badminton, we, have, uh, we haven't seen badminton in the first game, so this is, a new, uh, this is a new event. And we have beach volleyball too. And we got table tennis returning. We got football, a new event uh, in this game. And we have shooting. Uh, one of my favorite events, uh, it's kind of like archery in the first game, but it's mostly based on shooting and based on your accuracy. Fencing, we have returned. We have seen this before. Now this, if you played the DS version of Mario Sonic and Olympic games, you might recall this event, but it's only played in single player. But if you put this, this, this event in this game is played multiplayer. You play with four... Four team, requires four team, uh, four players on your team to play this event, as you saw in the intro. Now let's look at the dream events in this game. Dream. There are a lot of dream events in the last game. Let's see. We have ten. Ten dream events. That's pretty good. This one being my favorite, Dream Long Jump. I love this dream event ever since we get, first got this game. Since 2011. Man. When I first, uh, when I first seen the uh, the trailer for the release of this game, I was psyched to get this game. And then by the time November fifteenth of two thousand eleven, I believe, which is released, I immediately got it at Target. And man, I've been playing London Party for a long period of time. And man, there's so much stuff you can do here. So here we have Dream Rafting. Uh, Pretty cool event. I don't know what this is based out of. Dream Long Jump is pretty much the better version of Long Jump. Long Jump has returned, as you can see. Uh, we have Dream Discus. You haven't, you haven't noticed that we didn't see any Discus events in the last, the first game. Yeah, there were no Discus events held in uh, 2008. And Dream Uneven Bars. Uh, Uneven Bars is the new event in this game. So this is the Dream Event version of this. Here we have Dream Hurdles, a kind of combination of 110 meter hurdles. We have seen that event uh, for the first game. Pretty, pretty standard uh, 110 meter hurdles. And we have Dream Equestrian. This is the, this is multiplayer variant of Equestrian, and it's pretty cool. I like it. This is definitely one of my favorite Dream events. Dream Sprint is pretty much a combination of a hundred meter sprint. Yeah, I think so. Finally, we have Dream. Oh, there's still two more. Uh, Dream Trampoline. Uh, trampoline. There is trampoline, and now we have Dream Trampoline. Pretty cool event. I like it. Dream Spacewalk. I want to say it's kind of similar to. The new event that introduced in this game, uh... Oh, shoot. Uh, Synchronized Swimming. It's pretty much similar to that. Yeah, Synchronized Swimming is new to this. Uh, we haven't seen Synchronized Swimming in the first game. So yeah, this is basically what this is referring to. And finally, we have Dream Fencing. Uh, we have seen Dream Fencing in the first game. And now we get to see it here. Dream Fencing has returned. I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, let's let's start the first event. Oh. As for the computer AI difficulty. I will I will say the AI in this game is pretty difficult. So we'll do the game settings, comm level. I'm just gonna play on normal because the AI in this game is pretty tough. Even not easy, it's still pretty challenging. I played this game so many times on easy difficulty, and man, they're pretty, they're not even that easy. You'll see what I mean when we play prolonged in the game. I see, you'll see how good they are. Alright, first we're gonna do 100 meters. 
You can play this with four players, obviously, and you can also play as Mies. As you see, uh, you can't play as Mies in the first two Mario and Sonic game, little big games for the 2008 and 2010 because there was no way you could get Mies until the 3DS was introduced and the Wii. So, yeah. Until the 2012 Olympic Games for the 3DS release, I think you can play as Mies in that game. Ironically, I just ordered it today. Yeah, I got London 2012 Olympic Games on the 3DS. How ironic. Never played it. I've seen the demo, though. I think I recall playing the demo a long time ago. But man, I, could, I didn't even know there was a demo for that game. Uh, for the first uh, event for this, we're going to go with, Here we go. you know, the man, Sonic the Hedgehog. You know how the, this game the event goes. No need to hear the rules. You can play this, but I'm actually going to just play this with the RAM mode. Uh, I've been playing this a lot, and finally enough, it's pretty, it's a lot better just to play with the RAM mode. You don't have to play with the nunchuck. That saves me breath, because I don't want to wear it out. Enough talking, let's get right into action. That's good. I might play on hard at some point, it's just... It's... It's difficult, it's what the... Hard part is. That's just the worry word. How funny, just three speed characters got, uh, top three. Pretty typical, since this event is pretty much based on speed. After you play an event here, you actually get something. You get a scratcher. Well, what that does in bonus mode, you can play scratchers. You get up to 99, I believe. Unfortunately, you max out the 99, although when you get all the costumes and scratchers, you can't play it anymore, so I can't show it off. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Anyway, let's show off Shrek in 110 meter hurdles. I'll probably use a skill character here. Uh, let's use uh, a Mario skill character this time. Let's go with uh, Waluigi. This event is pretty much based on skill. Waluigi. So yeah, again, this video is just going to be the Olympic events, and the next video will be the dream events. I did just show them off just to see what they are. Now let's play for real. I played this game for so long, and I'm glad to let's play this. Got a lot of greats. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit. I'm going to push it back. Now I can look at the screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm not going to be let's playing the DS version of Mario Inside Olympic Games for in Olympic Winter Games for the DS and this game on the 3DS just because playing handheld is kind of tedious. I did LP Mario Kart 7, which is pretty okay because that game is just, it's just playing Mario Kart. I mean, you're not moving the system around or anything. You just, it's just pretty much button controls. Man, there are some Mario Sonic Olympic games on the 3DS where it actually requires you to actually move the entire system. That's a, that's tedious. Uh, let's see. I believe Rio 2016 Olympic games on the 3DS did something like that. There is an event where you have to move the entire system to actually uh, play the actual event to get a high score or something. I think it's Hammer Throw. 
uh, it's just, I've watched it. It's, it's just not good. I might get the game, but I'm not gonna LP it. I will the Wii U version when it, when I get it. I still do not have the Wii U version. Okay. Anyway, we have four by hundred meter relay. Of uh, we use a character each type. Uh, we have a power type, power characters, uh, based on how how basically their their power is. As you see the stats, acceleration is pretty much your max speed at uh, from run when you run. Max speed is pretty much your your speed, how you run. And for a power character, Vector's got a lot of speed. I am surprised. And skill, based on how well you perform as uh as like for Maneuvering in a lot of events. There are a lot of events where you have to maneuver. That's pretty much based on skill. Power is pretty much your strength. It's your strength point. There are certain events where I will use power characters, but for stamina, power characters have a lot of stamina. Wario being the best one. I thought Bowser would have the best stamina, but man, Wario. Wario has a lot of stamina, dude. I have no idea why him, of all people, have a lot of stamina. That is a thing in the DS version of Mario Sonic Olympic Games on the DS, uh, for the first game and the second game. That is definitely based on that. Uh, as for 4 Binary Meter Relay, I'm gonna be using... Let's use Sonic. Oh, wait, I already used Sonic. Oh, let's use Shadow. And we'll use... We'll use... Mario for this one. Uh, we use a power character. Let's go with Knuckles. Let's do this. He's got decent speed. He's got good stamina. Unfortunately, there's no uh, event like the first game where it ha uh, basically has stamina, except one event. There's one event that has stamina. That's the cycling event. As you know, for the if you played the DS version of Mario Cycle of the Games, you probably know what it is. And for technique character, we've already used uh, Waluigi, so let's use let's use Peach. Since I want to use two of each Mario and Sonic character. Now there are some certain uh, events where I have to use uh, technique characters because in the gymnastics event, you definitely want to use technique characters because they are good if you want a really good score. This is pretty much how you do in the first, if you play the original game of the Wii. I didn't get a perfect boost, but that's okay. Because they're the only normal CPUs. Uh, this, you can actually do have a boost this time. Didn't have actually had it in the first game. There was no special dash. I uh, can't tell, I don't know the names of every each character specific special. The only thing I know from Mario is just the spin special. If you played the DS version of Mario Star Olympic Winter Games, you'll definitely see the, uh, uh, what their special type move is. That I like. But I wish, I wish it did the same thing in this game, and the sequel to this game, but I, the last time I LP'd. But well, that was a pretty good score, 34 seconds. And you pretty much have to shake the wheel out at the right time to, uh, release the next, uh, pass the baton to the next player, and there are challenges in these events, and they're pretty, they're pretty standard. Some could be difficult, some could be hard, could be tedious to get, but they're not hard. Uh, uh we're done with the athletics. We're, now we're gonna do field. This is definitely right. Okay, this is. Uh, I suggest. Oh, I burped right there. Uh, launch up. Okay, this one. This one you can play multiplayer without the Wii remote. Uh, by only playing one remote, but kind of like Mario, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. But I might LP that game at some point since I did Mario Power Tennis. Uh, let's see. Uh, for. I haven't used Bowser Jr. Let's use Bowser Jr. 
You definitely want to use all around characters for this event, or skill characters. This is kind of similar to Individual Large Hill from the Olympic Winter Games, because it's basically, it's based on distance, as you can see. So we gotta beat that high score. On hard, it is ridiculously hard to beat, because they get up to like nine. Start. This is what you have to do. Oh, I didn't get it at the right time. Oh well. You have to shake the worm at the right time. Okay, you get- I think I said it three tries. Yeah, you can set the options where you can do this in one try or two or three. Oh wait. I- I only said it one try. Let me try that again. I- I want to win all these events. Oh wait, one try out of three, okay. Oh, uh, the motion on that is terrible. I still do not like the motion in this, in, in this system. If you get, if you jump there at the right time, you can do a special move that gives you an extra distance, and I didn't do it at the right time, because I'm still a little rusty. I think I can still do it again. Okay, good. You get a second try. Okay, that's what I didn't know. I thought it ended immediately. I'm gonna actually concentrate here so I can actually do this right. No, nope, that wasn't good. I jumped too soon. You know, I just don't want to go over because I don't want to get foul. I might have to retry this if I fail this again. Which this struggled me a lot uh, when I fir first played the first game. I had struggled with this and triple jump. It's just not good. I feel like it's a lot easier in this game, but still, it's not that easy. No. Redo try. Okay, you get to redo try. That's good. If you get it perfectly, you get uh, pretty much better speed. There we go. There we go. That was in foul. I think that was. That's what I call victory. That was good. That was really close. I wonder if that's a new record. No? That's my new- that's my high score. Yeah! You definitely want to use balance characters in that event. That was tedious, but that's- that's basically what it is for long jump. It's just- it's hard for beginners, but if you get used to it, it's- it's pretty good. It's not so hard to get used to it so many times. There is a challenge for that where you have to get the special boost right at the white line, I believe, a certain amount of times. Pretty sure. At 100 meters, I believe you have to get a perfect starting dash, like a certain amount of times. 110 meter hurdles, you have to keep getting perfect jumps in the, each hurdle. That's not hard to do. And for a 4 by 100 meter relay, you have to keep, get, you gotta get a perfect baton in every single, uh, three, you have to get perfect in every single baton. That can be hard, but if you're good, it's not so hard. Here we have a power type event based on. As you know, power characters. If Hammer Throw, one of my favorite events. Uh, hmm. I've already used Knuckles. Let's go with Donkey Kong. I will use Knuckles and Javelin Throw. 
I've used Bowser in it for my high score, though. Okay, you get one try three. I did make it three tries, okay. I thought I meant it set one try. That would suck if I did that, because I did not want to do this one try. But this event is pretty easy. You swing the Wii remote around and around and around. And you throw it just the right time. And if you get it perfectly, you can shake the Wii remote for get a better distance. That's pretty good. That is why you want power characters. If I think I do that perfectly again, I might set a new record. I, don't, I think I could get. I think I could beat that record a little bit. Not, not by much, but maybe just a little bit. DK has the best power. Nah, I'd say it's uh, about 90. That was definitely not a new record. 92. I did a lot better in my first throw. I am so looking forward to play the 3DS version of this game. If you guys don't know. Okay, that one's a little late, but I'll take it. And you can't, you don't do that in animation where you shake up and down. You have to do it perfectly in order to get it. I'll take 68. That's not enough to win, but I already got my, I already got a set score already, so. I'll take it. I'll take a victory. I think I used skill characters to set a really good record in the first game, which is insane. I think it was like Peach or even Eggman I set a world record in that event. I don't get how skill characters can throw, but man, they can throw. But this is definitely based on power. I think Javelin Throat is next. Oh, for the, the challenge for that, I'd say you gotta get perfect. You wanna time that uh, timing perfectly at the end. After swinging a Wii remote, you have to time it perfectly a certain amount of times. That's probably the challenge for that. Oh, discus throw. Javelin throw is last. Okay. Rumble stone with Rumble stone with athletics. Uh, javelin throw. I think I'm gonna use knuckles for this, as I used in the first game. But I used him in javelin throw. Cause man, knuckles is a beast. Of course, Bowser came in first. He's a power character. Here's the new event we haven't seen. For this event, you want to time this perfectly three times, and then you want to set your angle perfectly. That's the challenge you have to do. And then, at the end, you throw it at just the right angle. Uh, not the right angle. Uh, you want to sh shake the wheel at the end just the right time, get a better distance. And that's pretty much it. Pretty good. Pretty simple to do. Oh, I only made it one throw in that. Uh, I only made one try in that event. I was, I was always going to do three tries. Oh, well, that event is not that hard to win. Unless you struggle with it if you're new to this game. Oh wait, there's one more event we have to do, and that's Javelin Throw. But the challenge for this, I want to say you want to throw your best angle perfectly to get the challenge. And I'm using Bowser for this one. Definitely using Bowser for this. I was going to use Knuckles for this, but I wanted to use... I would have considered using Vector and Discus Throw, but man, 
I just feel like using Yuckles again because he's a power character. You want to use power characters for these events. These are good. And that's my that's my high score. That's a pretty good record. Not as much as the first game because you get over a hundred. All right, let's see what this first throw is. I think it's pretty good. I didn't want it to wait too long because I didn't want to get a foul. That was pretty good. 97.010. I'll take it. I will take that to the bank. I think that's over. Yep. I guess it is going to be one try. And I guess to make it faster, I might as well. And it did it took at least over 10 minutes for the introduction, too. It's only the 30 minute mark. But we are done with the athletics. There were only seven of them. I think there were more in the DS version of Mario Sonic Olympic Games. Uh, let's see. Now we're gonna do gymnastics, which I believe is really good in this game. Here's uh, an even bars. I recommend a skill character. Uh, let's see. I haven't used tails yet. Let's use tails. Hey, dummy. To set a record. This is probably, in my opinion, the easiest event. Oh, I got it wrong. Uh, I'm not paying attention. There we go. I believe the challenge for this, you have to get those, you have to time that jump perfectly every single time. I think that's a challenge for this. And you want the max speed to get a high score, too. Oh. Man, why am I so bad at this? I used to be really good. You know, I'm gonna redo that. That was terrible. As you can see, that perfect score is 30. I guess I'm just not timing it right. Certain characters have a very awkward timing for this. Mostly basically power characters. Because they're kind of big. Even Eggman, uh, uh, to be perfectly honest, because he's a skill character. Despite being a skill character, but he's pretty big. And at the end, no, I think this is the challenge. You have to land that distance perfectly to get the challenge. I think it's that or... I have no idea what the challenge is in that event. I'll have to look. It's either that. It's either that at the end. I feel like that's the challenge. Yeah. The challenges could be a little awkward to get. They're not hard. I've like 100% of this game so many times. Sorry, I was a little rusty there. Man, camera's in the way. I wasn't paying attention. It's just, man, you get a little rusty once in a while. And the background, my brother was going somewhere. Alright, trampoline. Yep, it has. We've seen this event. Uh. I think I'm gonna use Waluigi. I think I used him last time I did this event in the first game. I mean, you definitely want to use skill characters. I am gonna use Peach for this next event because you want technique characters. Technique characters are good. Not despite the way they are, they are good. So this is pretty simple for trampoline. You get this perfect start. Uh, 
few times. If you fail it, if you fail the timing, you have to do it over again. If you hold the B button, you get a uh, better, better performance. As you can see, this way you hit a uh, uh, turn upwards, sideways, the right side, uh, sideways, uh, uh, if you swirl the Wii remote, uh, left side you get, uh, uh, or the right side you get that, uh, cool animation. And you get 10 tries too, which is pretty good. Yeah, Pike Somersault, which is down B. Yeah, you get more, you get a better score if you hold the B button. But I wasn't even close to being a record because I wasn't really paying attention because I made mean, a, and I really had a really bad jump earlier. I feel like I should just do that again, but now nah, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I, I won. Hard players are ridiculous in this, in this event, though. They're ridiculous. I will say, in this, in, in this part of the events, you want technique characters. I'm saying it again once, I say it again. Technique characters is your best bet for winning these events. And for saying a high score if you're considering. You're going for personal best. Alright, here we go. Rhythmic Ribbon being the last one, and I said it before, but I'm gonna use Peach for this. How fitting. Look at that. Look at those stats for skill. You know how good that is? That is good. This also requires balance uh, as well. As you know for... Oh, there are three songs. Uh, we'll do... We'll do the first one. I will show off the others. But probably in uh, the other uh, London party mode when I do this again. Because you do get to play events again in that mode. A little spoiler right there, but it's... You guys know if you've you played this mode before. This is, I think, the challenge for this. You gotta get this perfect... You gotta have perfect timing on this certain amount of times. You gotta get perfect performances. I say all round characters are all good for this one too. Because they have good balance. Late. Comments for anyone who loves the sun, I do. I think the songs were really cooler in the last game. Man, there were so many good songs. There are even different songs in the DS version. They're pretty. They're pretty cool. It's kind of like figure skating in uh, uh, from the second game, but it's a little different. It's gymnastics. Gymnastics is pretty much figure skating and speed skating events. They're kind of similar. Figure skating in the Olympic Summer Games back in the day. As I've heard. Never seen figure skating in the Olympic Summer Games before, but it'd be cool to it would be interesting to see it. And we have aquatics. I feel like after this, I'm gonna probably like skip to the next part because I don't want to go over the time. 
So after the aquatics and canoeing, I'm going to stop it there. Aquatics. There are not very many events left. I believe there are like 21 Olympic events. 100 meter freestyle. Uh, I think Daisy's good for this one. Got an okay skill. Got decent speed. I say she's pretty good for this one. I say skill characters are good for this event, but basically more speed than skill. But it's around there. Get set. I want to say that's the challenge, but I don't know. Uh, the motion in this event can be a little awkward if you keep if you keep shaking it over and over again to speed up. If you want to stop and don't want to pass out, you don't want to. It, it'll it'll still keep going, so you you want to gently shake the rear motor to, to swim. That wasn't even a close break of my record, but that was a good record. First. I'd say the AI is alright in that one. And hard gets ridiculous. I probably could have beat hard with that though. Yoshi. Now we're gonna do the new event that is introduced in this game. Uh, synchronized swimming. I'm gonna try my best to show up all three of the songs, but I'm not gonna do this all at once because I don't want to take up too much time. I think I did the same thing when I did the sequel to the game when I played figure skating. Alright, uh, synchronized swimming. I'm pretty much using the girls. Eat. Typical, right? <laughs> I will do something different for uh, Dream Spacewalk when I play that event. This is basically the same event, but it's it's dream event. Dream events are pretty much a different aspect of the event. Uh, we're gonna do Spring Song. Three songs pretty much based on each difficulty, this being the easy difficulty. If you pick the harder songs, it does get significantly faster, and it's hard to cooperate with your team, especially play with human players. So, practice this event a lot, and I'd say the challenge for this, get 30 synchronized series, uh, 30 combos of synchronized series, a certain amount of times, I believe, after each performance. That could be difficult, but if you're, if you're good at this event, like me, this, uh, I recommend playing this because this is kind of the easy mode. But hey, if you want to spice things up, go for it. Uh, you also get a higher, get a much better score if you do that performance. Oh, I could have gotten perfect 30. I'm not going for the Combo, high combos or anything, I'm just going for my best, best score I can possibly earn. That was pretty good. I didn't even manage to get up to 50 for that. That was pretty good. Alright, one more event, and I'm gonna skip to the next part. And we're gonna do 
Uh, canoeing doubles. Canoeing. Canoeing sprint a thousand meters, whatever. It was called that in the future games. Uh, mm, you definitely want speed, so I'll go with Yoshi. And for the Sonic character type, uh, let's go with speed and power. Let's go with Vector. I haven't used Vector. Give Vector a chance to shine. The team Green! Team Green here. I guess Team Luigi's also Team Green because of Bowser Jr.'s looks, but... Eh, close. Close enough. Ready. Now, the challenge for this, I believe you have to get this perfect, uh, sync, uh, time this perfectly every single time. I don't think it's that hard. Pretty easy. It does get faster, though. As you get close to the end. So keep that in mind. And at the very end, keep sprinting. I wonder if that's a new record I just said. No, it was 314. That was a good record, actually. I, I personal set last time I played this. Last time I broke the record. I was pretty good. Gold medal. Alright, this will do it for the first half of the- oh, 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 gotta be careful. Anyway, that does it for the first half of the Olympic events. I'll see you guys next time when we take care of the rest of the Olympic events. Because they, the next Olympic events, they take a long time. So I'll probably shorten the game up just to, just so I don't take it that long. But I'll, do, I'll try my best to make it a uh, pretty good, uh, uh, fun. I'll just make it fun. That's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys next time when we take care of the rest of the Olympic events, and then we'll move on to the dream events. See you guys then.